This impact assessment workshop is for faculty and course designers who have taught several semesters online. Your workshop facilitators are John Sainer and Joan McMahon. John Sainer is the founder and chief knowledge officer of Sainer Knowledge LLC, a consulting practice which co-creates knowledge leading to positive change in education, learning, and society. As Director of Special Initiatives for the Sloan Consortium, John has also been involved in a wide variety of Sloan C activities. His career in education and training over the past 30 plus years is a unique mixture of broad practical experience and academic expertise. Joan McMahon has worked in the area of faculty and curriculum transformation for over 30 years and has been teaching online since 1997. At Towson University, she used her background in adult education and training as the faculty coordinator at the Center for Instructional Advancement and Technology. Her area of expertise is behavior change for lifelong impact, carried over here to this Sloan C workshop. Joan is a certified QM master reviewer, instructional designer, and trainer. She is the founder and CEO of Transforming Leaders LLC, a consulting firm for higher ed. An alternative approach to learning assessment, impact assessment will be reviewed during this workshop. Impact assessment focuses on the so what factor. So what are the effects of the learning on the learner and the learner's life spheres, workplace, career, education, etc.? So what is its relevancy to the learner's world? So how does the process of assessing this impact result in greater satisfaction for their instructors? Impact assessment is a form of learning-centered assessment which engages learners by supporting their capacity to value, reflect on, and make meaning from their learning. Impact assessment does not replace institutional assessment needs. Instead, it enhances them by providing methods to obtain more useful data which serves institutional purposes, engaging students more deeply by meeting their needs, and helping in the process of building the skills needed to face the challenges of the future. The workshop outcome is to create a plan for identifying the impact of the learning occurring in one of the classes you are teaching. The workshop objectives include justify the relevance of collecting important data, analyze examples of successful impact assessments in action, Demonstrate methods for collecting impact data on student learning. Project how these strategies improve learner engagement. Demonstrate how to reconfigure online learning evaluations to reflect retention and impact. Develop a project plan to incorporate impact data into a course. We'll be doing some of these objectives concurrently. In particular, we will be demonstrating how these strategies improve learner engagement via story and example rather than in a separate presentation segment. The workshop expectations include completing three modules, each of which has readings such as PowerPoint slides, online readings, and instructor-produced materials, participation in discussion, graded, which includes dialogue with other participants and comments and suggestions for course improvements. And finally, proofs of learning, graded, which include discussion postings, insight reflections, and course redesign. The workshop activities will take about 15 to 20 hours of time. These include introductory live sessions on First Friday, beginning work on readings and modules over the weekend, module postings at least once per day during the workshop, status report, live session on Thursday, and completion of workshop activities by second Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern. The workshop will include the following graded assignments. One, introduction, discussions and reflections. Two is module one, two discussion postings on the topic. Three, Module 2, reframed assignments and questions from your own course plus comments on one another's participants' reworked ideas. And 4, Module 3, your plan and your projected concerns. For the introductory session, a satisfactory grade includes 
a personal introduction which provides enough detail to show goals, provides a specific example from the readings justifying the relevance of impact data as it relates to your course. If the assignment needs revision, it is because the example is not detailed or reflection, discussion is brief with minimal analytical thought. For a satisfactory grade in Module 1, do you provide a specific example from the readings explaining the value of impact as it relates to your course? Analyze potential inferences in your own course based on action research. Suggest ideas for collecting impact data on student learning in your own course. The module re will need revision if the example is not detailed, the description discussion is brief with minimal analytical thought, or describes evidence collection process only without ideas. Module 2 is graded satisfactory if you offer two revised questions from your course or assignments that could lead to insight. Comment on one another's colleagues' revisions. If needs revision, there are less than two revised questions posted or a colleague review is minimal with no suggestions. The last module, Module 3, shows a satisfactory grade if the project plan follows the model, project plan addresses your concerns on implementation, Project plan describes data collection strategies. Obstacles and plans to overcome them are stated in reflection and provides explanation of how these strategies affect learner engagement. It needs revision if the plan does not follow the impact assessment action research plan, action is not based on readings or discussions, reflection discussion is brief with minimal analytical thought, or explanation is not detailed. We look forward to working with you. Enjoy the workshop!